Hey there, Christine Morrell here. Today we're going to be talking about how artists can guarantee to get a response from record labels, publishing companies, licensing companies, from bloggers, websites, Spotify playlisters, and more. And by the way, the dream is free, but the hustle is sold separately. Let's get to work. <laughs> We're going to be talking about a website called Submit Hub. I love this website. I've had some great success with getting my music featured on, you know, different websites and, and different blogs and that sort of thing. I've also gotten offers from like record labels. I've gotten really great connections with licensing and syncing companies. Um, not only that, one of the coolest things that I did was I partnered with a producer out in Spain who remixed one of my songs and we ended up charting in Spain's like top 100. We actually made the top 20. So you can imagine having a top 20 record just from submitting some of my music on a website like Submit Hub to suddenly get those results was really, really awesome. And I want to share more about this website so you can see if this is something that you think that would be helpful to you. And if you got music, I'm going to guarantee it's going to be helpful to you. Submit Hub has two options. You can sign up for their free option, which means you can submit to, you know, all these different opportunities. And don't worry, we're going to jump into the website and I'm going to show you how it works. But you can only submit every four hours one submission. Whereas if you pay, you can pay a couple bucks. It just means that you're able to buy some credits and it might cost you a couple dollars to submit to specific people. But what's going to happen is they're going to guarantee that those people are either going to listen to your music so that you can either choose it. I want to guarantee that they're going to listen to at least 90 seconds of my music or two, you guarantee that they're going to let you know why or why not they're interested in your music. So you know that they've heard it, you know that you're gonna get a response because you know what it's like. If we're reaching out to tons of blogs and websites and emailing them, 90% of the time they're not even getting back to us and we don't know if they just didn't like us, we don't know if they didn't receive the email, we didn't know if it was just bad timing, like we just don't know what's going on. A website like Submit Hub gives us the opportunity to guarantee that we're gonna get a response, guarantee that they're gonna listen to our music, or we get our money back. With no further ado, let's check it out. All right, so first we're gonna to go to submithub.com. As you can see it up here, you're going to need to set up an account. Okay, so first make sure to go up, set up your account, and then as you get into your account, it's going to look like this. Now I have put in some of my music, so you as a new uh, registrant, you're not going to have music up here, obviously. So you're going to need to uh, send in your songs to get approved. Okay, once they're approved, then you have them set up here. Okay, so these are just some things. I haven't been in here in a long time, so um, some of these things are old for me. But what you're going to do is you're going to choose a song that you would like to promote. Let's say I wanted to promote my song Hasta el Final. This is a music video that I did. It's a Latin pop record. So let's say I wanted to get that out there. Maybe I wanted to get more publish like I wanted to get in more media and that sort of thing so I'm gonna to go to submit a song up here and I'm going to pick which song I want to submit so I can might click on uh, use this song here here I'm going to click on what I want to do so this is where you need to be specific with what your goals are right curators are music bloggers Spotify playlisters YouTube channels what is it that I want to do I want to get in media but let's say that's not what I want to do let's say I wanted to use influencers and I wanted to use influencers that have you know a lot of uh, followers on TikTok, for example and I wanted to, you know, ask them to, to use my music. Or let's say I wanted to submit to record labels. So you can see, depending on what your end goal is, you're going to choose what your initiative is. So I'm gonna choose curators just for this one. Let's say I was promoting my single. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna see this. What type of credit would I like to use? So I have, you know, I mentioned earlier, um, you can do the buying, the ones that you buy, the credits, or you can do free ones. So here it is. This is what you get when you buy the, the uh, credits. And you get a guaranteed response within 48 hours. That's awesome. Your submission filters to the top. They must listen for at least 20 seconds. And you're going to get at least 10 words of feedback if your submission is declined. If you don't want feedback, there's also an option for a 90 seconds minimum listen time instead of feedback. And it says, if the above conditions are not met after 48 hours, you get your credit back. Now each credit costs around a dollar and submissions can be a dollar, two dollars, maybe three dollars. We're gonna go through it and we're gonna see. Um, but I usually do those. I usually do those because I can guarantee that I'm gonna get a response. I guarantee that they're gonna be listening. I understand that this is a business for me, so I need to invest if I want people to listen. And, and you know, a lot of people are like, no, they should just listen anyways. No, they shouldn't. They have other lives. People don't owe you anything. So here we go. This is standard. 
um, and standard is the free one. So you still have an opportunity for them to hear it. Um, you can only use two credits every four hours and you have no guarantee of response or feedback. It's still possible that people might like your stuff and feature it. Obviously, if someone's paying them to listen, you know, people have lives. Imagine these curators, these bloggers, they may have children, they may have families, you know, so if they have other jobs, it's possible. They're going to see the people at the top. They may just not have time to get to your stuff. So it helps if you can invest. If you can't, you still have the possibility here to um, still get uh, results. So regardless, if you have the money, do it. If you don't, still do it. Just expect a different level of results. So we're gonna hit next. Here's where you specify what you're looking for, right? Feedback, I care about feedback or whatever. I don't wanna be notified when there's feedback and then you know, I don't want feedback. I don't know why anybody wouldn't want feedback. We all, you know, we need to get constructive criticism so that we can grow as artists always. Um, here, you're gonna let them know whether they have permissions to use your music. So here is, I cannot give them permission to upload this song to their channel. Um, you know, let's say it's owned by someone else, someone owns the publishing or, you know, that sort of thing. Um, here, I put, yes, they can. It doesn't mean that, you know, you're giving them, um, you know, the video, it's not like you're doing that. You still, you can still communicate with them and talk to them about how to include it. But this just basically means that you have the power to give them that opportunity to upload it. And here it is, they cannot monetize. Yes, I can give them permission, but I should be able to keep anything they earn from the upload. And that's up to you. And, and I just see this mentality a lot where a lot of musicians are like, no, I want to, you know, make sure that I make the money. Okay, well then what's in it for them? Why should they include you? If there's a blog that has a million subscribers, who's gonna benefit from playing your music if you don't? Let's say you're just starting out. Do you really think that you're giving them value by letting them play your song? Because you're not. You're getting all the value by allowing them to play it because they have a million subscribers. That's a million people that your music could potentially be shown to. So if you give them the opportunity to make a little bit, and they're not making much off of it, guys. They make a fraction of a penny when people watch those videos. So it is worth it, absolutely, in my opinion, to give them that fraction of a penny so that you can get exposed to a possible million people or 100,000 people or whatever it is, especially if you're just starting out. So I see that mentality with a lot of artists where they're like, no, I just need to make money. Okay, well, what are you offering? Because if you're not offering anything valuable and you're just offering your song and you think that that's good enough, I'm not going to agree with you. I'm going to agree with my mentality and that someone who has a huge following is offering more for you um, than you if you don't. So um, I would choose something like this. That's just me. Ultimately, this is up to you. Uh, here's your genre. Uh, I just chose pop. You're going to put, you know, what it is. I chose Latin pop and I'm going to put next. So now here's um, Spotify playlisters that you can look up here, right? So I'm gonna look up here and I'm gonna um, pick up, you know, it says that he's received five to 10 submissions in the last 24 hours. This kind of gives you a cool like chart, so genre match. So this says, yep, he absolutely plays Latin pop records. So I know my genre fits, you know, what he's um, offering. Uh, same thing here, quality, influence, you know, this is going to, um, influence can mean that they don't have a lot of followers. So here, instead of simply counting followers, we focus on how engaged their audience actually is. A low number isn't always a bad thing, especially if they've got a high quality score or focus on a niche genre. So this is just something that would be worth looking into, you know, like if you can look up that Spotify playlist and just see, you know, what, what do you think they're giving them a low influence score? Maybe it just means they have a low engagement, but maybe it's very, you know, specific to the genre. And if it's only, you know, a dollar, $2 for you to get featured on something like this, it could be worth it to you. And that's up to you to decide. And that's what's um, important about Submit Hub. And I'll get into that a little bit later. Not all of these playlists are created equal, right? It may cost you the same to submit to each one, but one has a lot more followers than another one. So you can definitely look these up and see, you know, if you're on a limited budget and you only, you know, can submit to like five or 10 or whatnot, then you might want to do a little bit of research and make sure that these are fitting, you know, partially what your goals are. The other thing to consider is though, if someone has a ton of followers, they may not include your music if it's not like super top notch, right? So that's another thing is if it's a, a highly desired Spotify playlist, you're also in competition with a lot of other people. So sometimes it can work to your benefit to submit to people that maybe don't have as many followers because it's more likely that they're going to include you. So these are all things to consider. Um, when you're ready to submit, you're just going to click here. So let's say I wanted to submit to both of these. Um, I'm going to hit submit. 
and I'm going to, so there's my email, and then I'm going to hit submit. Now I've already created, you know, my song, I've already uploaded my music video. Like I told you, that's something that you would do at the beginning. So when I hit submit, they're getting all my information. They're getting my social networks, they're getting all of those types of things. So this is a very easy way for you to submit. Now we can go back, let's say we want to do this again, submit a song. And let's say I want to use this song and I'm going to go to record labels, right? And I'm going to choose the premium or the standard free one, whichever one you're doing. And what do I want help with? This is where you say what you want. You know, when I had, I told you guys I was offered a few singles deals with a, a song that I did a while back. I put that I'm releasing a single. You know, what is it that you want? You want sync deals? Like I connected with a lot of different publishing companies through this. So let's say I want a sync deal, right? Or a record, you know, just depending on what you want, book gigs and tour. I mean, this is all there. So we want sync deals. Um, are you mostly looking for help with this song or with all of your music? Why not all of it, man? Like, let's get your music placed on movies and films. If you know anything about those, those pay very well. Those can pay well, well into the thousands of dollars, even if you have no followers, no hit song. You know, this is, it's a great opportunity. So I'm gonna choose Latin pop, because that's my genre. You're gonna choose your genre, and then I'm gonna go to next. Here we are. There's some uh, record labels here. Um, let's see what it says here. It says genre match, you know, matches and quality eight out of 10. So that looks really good. Um, it looks like they have five to 10 artists. They're a record label, but they also do sync deals for TV, film, ads, and etc. Genre history. They have approved eight Latin pop songs in the last year. And they also like commercials, rap, autotune, indie, R&B, hip hop, conscious hip hop. So this would be a great submission. For you to send them to that because they're matching the genre or for me anyway because that's my song and it looks like they're a record label and they're doing a few different things sync deal so that's pretty cool so you can look through these and see you know this is nine out of ten genre match eight out of ten quality this is great same thing here primary focus is there a publisher sync deal for tv film and ads and you know and we just have to try to work seriously with a serious products and artists music publishing services profit share. So as you can see, like we're getting a great list of people that are serious about offering, you know, sync deals or, or publishing opportunities. And it, here's an opportunity for you to submit to them for like really easily. Like, let's just click here. And as you can see, we can hit submit here. Watch this, let's go to submit. There you go. Make sure that you have your email in there so that you can hear back from them once you submit. I'm actually going to go ahead and submit to them. Hey, I have a Latin song and I have like 33 credits I haven't used. I've had this up for a long time. So I'm just gonna submit it. Cool, so next steps is I can view my submission. I can upload new songs. I can you know submit again and I can keep going. I can keep promoting uh, myself. So it took one credit. So let's go to submit again. Oh, and by the way, I was looking at these uh, costs and it looks like it's a dollar for a submission. So I, I haven't submitted anything in a little while. So, um, but this looks like it's a dollar. So it says here, premium credits cost roughly a dollar each with discounts when you buy more. For example, you can use five credits to send one song to five recipients. So it's it's a, it's done by a credit um, um, service. And depending on how much you buy, those credits cost a little bit more. So if you buy in bulk, you can get them um, for roughly around $1, roughly around $1 to submit to all of these different types of opportunities, which are awesome. And let's just go back, let's click here, like let's go on influencers. And it's the same thing here, let's keep going. This actually asks for the influencers, what would you like them to rate? Well, this is kind of cool. So maybe you want them to you know, rate the melody you know, so let's uh, let's say a melody. Let's say that we want them to rec, you know, to uh, rate the vocals, and you know whether it's radio friendly, you know. So and then you can actually add your own here. Same thing here with permissions and copyrights. Um, I've already chosen my genre of Latin pop. I'm going to go next, and now all of these things have shown up. Here is an Instagram influencer. Here's another Instagram influencer. Here, so here's some people that we can submit to. Not only that, you can click here to check them out. So let's check out Fabio Lameo. And there she is. So she has 7,000 followers. And you can decide whether you think it's going to be worth it for you to submit to this person. It can cost a dollar. Is it worth it for her to, you know, possibly for you to reach a few thousand people on her list? It's up to you to decide. And you can just check out more and more. Let's check out this girl. I am Yesenia. She has 525,000 followers. 
So this would be a totally different game changer right here, right? That's half a million followers. So as you can see, not all submissions are created equal, right? You have to see if this is going to be worth it for you and keep into consider consideration once again, Fabiola probably doesn't get as many submissions, so she's probably more likely to include your music, especially if you're just starting out, that might be worth it for her. She's getting so many, it might be a little bit harder. So just consider that. And obviously, I think Submit Hub is just a great opportunity because you're guaranteed that feedback. And these are people who have set up profiles. They have actually put the time in and they're serious as well in providing a service for artists. So. And overall, I just want to let you guys know, I've done this for almost two decades now. I know I look like I'm only two decades old, but I've been doing this for a very long time. And um, I have been very experienced in getting a lot of rejection, okay? So if people are rejecting you, if you're getting negative feedback, be mature enough to look at it and go, hey, is this constructive criticism? Are they right? Maybe I do need to work on the production quality. Maybe I do need to focus on something. Or you can go, hey, they don't know what they're talking about. This is a great song. It's totally up to you to figure that out and to take rejection as you know just a way to go hey maybe they just didn't like it and that's their preference or maybe they're right maybe I do need to work on it um, but for the most part as for myself I've had an amazing life as a musician doing what I love making a living traveling the world like just really living it up but I will say a lot of t I get a lot of rejection and it's okay so I just want to let you guys know that not everybody's gonna love your music not everybody's gonna feel your music and if I had stopped like, like I tell, tell everybody, I used to sell my music going door to door. Like I knocked on people's doors as a door to door salesman. Nine out of 10 people told me no. And I used to knock on thousands of doors. So I've heard no thousands of times, not five times, not 10 times. If you cannot hear the word no, and you can't just take that and move forward and be positive about it, then this is not the business for you. This is for the tough people that can sit there and go, you know what, I have a dream and I wanna do something that most people are not doing and because of that I have to put more work in than most people are doing so you know just take whatever criticism there is take it constructively you can take it with a grain of salt and um, just keep doing it keep believing in yourself keep creating that music keep perfecting your craft because once again if I had stopped at the first thousand no's I've heard thousands of no's I would not be where I am you know with my career living comfortably I own this house that I live in you know I mean it's it, I just want to let you know that it's possible and I just want to encourage you to stick with it check the description to see even more ways that you can build your music career independently and how I've done it how you can do it too all right everybody I will see you on the next one